Hi, now we are entering the uh, subtopic called the energy and conservation of energy. So in this topic, it concerns more about the conservation of energy. Okay, so here's a uh, first question. An object of mass 2 kg is thrown vertically upwards with speed 10 meter per second. Determine its kinetic energy after it has reached a height of 4 meter if air resistance is neglected. Okay. So, to, to solve this question, we use the principle of conservation of energy. Okay, uh, so here is only the mechanical energy involved, which is the poten gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. So, to do this, we need to look at what is the initial energy and final energy. Right? So, yeah, as you can see, uh, so this is the initial part and this is the final part. Okay, so we must detect, yeah. For example, let us detect uh, uh, at the initial part what kind of energy uh, involved and also the final part what kind of energy involved, yeah. So uh, initially, what kind of energy it has? He say he's thrown vertically upwards with certain speed. Uh, okay, okay, let us write down. This is the mass, this is the initial speed, and it has certain height. Okay, it's certain height. Now, okay, so initially, what kind of energy it has? Yeah, initially, it has the kinetic energy. Uh, so, initially, it has kinetic energy. Okay, uh, because it has certain speed. Now, uh, after it goes upwards, Finally, it has what kind of energy? Uh, it certainly has uh, gravitational potential energy and also it still has kinetic energy. Uh, see? Determine the kinetic energy after it reach, meaning that it also has the kinetic energy. Uh, okay? So, um, some part of the initial kinetic energy has turned to the gravitational potential energy. Okay, so let us use the conservation of energy to solve this problem. So initially we have the kinetic energy, so we don't have any potential energy, so it's zero. Right? So uh, just use the formula uh, half. Sorry. Uh, okay. Half mu square uh, initially has kinetic energy. And finally, it has a uh, potential energy and uh, kinetic. Okay, so that one is mgh, gravitational potential energy, and the final kinetic energy, half mv square. Okay. Oh, he just asked for the kinetic energy, right? Uh, he just asked for kinetic energy. He doesn't ask for the final velocity. So that means we um. Uh, this one is simpler. No need to find. No need to put the formula. We just put final kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, then just substitute all the value. So we have all the mass already. The mass is two kilogram. The initial velocity is ten. And uh, uh, again, mgh mass two. Uh, G is nine point eight one. The height is four meter. So now find the final kinetic energy. So our final kinetic energy we get is 21.52 Joule. Alright. Uh, that's our final kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, so this is about conservation of energy. Yeah? Okay. So see you in the second questions. Thank you. Bye.